Now, Pippa Bartolotti, the former leader of the Welsh Green Party, posted this on her Facebook account yesterday. Quote, As friends know, I do not take the mainstream news reports at face value. The carnage is real enough, I'm sure, but without a shred of forensic evidence, blame has been duly apportioned. She was talking about the horrific crimes in Bucha, revealed as Russian troops withdrew from that town on the outskirts of Kiev. Remarkably, she's arguing that blame should not be apportioned to Russia, despite the testimony of those who survived those brutal attacks. She went on to write, Unusually, the barbarism was shown on US early evening news when the children are still around, which I think is plain wrong no matter which way the blame falls. She continued to write, Of course, it was all about manufacturing our consent to send even more lethal aid to Ukraine. End quote. As if it's a bad thing for the West to help the Ukrainian people defend themselves. And as if the West is manipulating this conflict. As if it's the West that wants this war. Now, attaching an article from the Kremlin propaganda website Russia Today, which claimed the Ukrainian narrative of the events in Bucha stretched credulity, she wrote, quote, Russia asked the UN for an urgent meeting at the time. The request was denied. Her statement takes what is published in Russian state media at greater face value than what appears in free Western media. But this was not the first time that Pippa Bartolotti, an avid Green campaigner and someone who represented the Green Party in ITV's 2015 Welsh leaders debate, has posted the Russian narrative on her social media profile. In a post on the 28th of March, Miss Bartolotti wrote that Zelensky, quote, was not prepared to talk about denazification. She cited a Russian propaganda UN resolution that the West opposed and abstained on for reasons that should be obvious to any observer that it would be bizarre to give credence to Putin's fantasies of fighting the supposed Nazism of the Ukrainian people as a whole. Those fantasies that the Kremlin seeks to justify Russia's indiscriminate murder of Ukrainian civilians. That's what the Kremlin is saying. An article in Russian state media, Rio Novsky, just this week, argued that, quote, substantial part of the population is also guilty of being passively Nazi. The Kremlin is clearly advancing the argument that the Ukrainian people, not just the Ukrainian army, is their enemy. But returning back to the former leader of the Wales Green Party and her questionable Facebook posts, on the 4th of March, she wrote, quote, The Russian way is not what you might call full American, with relentless carpet bombing thousands of troops all shooting and yelling and so on. The Russian way is to pursue negotiations and warfare at the same time, in the hope that warfare can be curtailed as soon as negotiations are concluded. She added that Russia today has now been removed from Telegram. Pity. Her words. I have to stress this is a slim selection of the Kremlin aligned talking points that have appeared on her public Facebook page. These are certainly eyebrow raising comments from an individual who has been as senior as to represent her party in a television debate not so many years ago. Now, we reached out to the Green Party for comment this morning, asking if Bartoletti remains a member of the party. As of this moment, we've heard no response.